Betray your destiny and see how long it takes you to be drowning in a storm. It'll happen immediately, and, and of course it will, because what, what's calling you to be your best is exactly the thing that's pushing you forward to manifest yourself most fully in the world. It's what you need. You run away from that, the boat's going to start to rock very, very quickly. Well, you all know that. You, per, you know that perfectly well. It, it's pretty bloody obvious. So anyways, he's on this boat, and there's a storm. And all of the people on the boat who, who can't quite discriminate chaos from weather because they haven't differentiated the world to that degree think oh the boat wouldn't be about to be swamped if we hadn't some of us hadn't done something stupid and wrong there's logic in that you know you might think well God has nothing personal against you because of the storm so you're confusing levels of analysis but you got to give these people some credit it's like maybe they did do something stupid maybe they didn't caulk the damn boat properly maybe the ropes aren't in as good a shape as they might be. Maybe they weren't paying attention to the weather when they went out on the ocean. Or maybe they haven't made peace with their brother and so their hearts are bent and twisted out of shape so they don't make particularly good sailors. It's like the idea that you encounter a storm because you're stupid and wrong is a really good idea. Even though it's not of infinite applicability. Anyways, they draw lots. It's a primitive thing to do. It's like, well, it's, one, it's someone's fault. We don't know who. We're going to throw someone overboard, the worst sinner. Obviously, that's what God wants, some kind of sacrifice. So they all draw lots and someone loses. And then Jonah stands up and says, well, sorry, guys. Like, I know that I've got a problem with God at the moment, so it's probably me. You better throw me over. And they don't really want to, but he finally convinces them. Over he goes and the storm settles. Sometimes if you're in a group of people in an organization, there is someone in the organization whose head isn't screwed on exactly straight. And they know exactly why it is and what they've done wrong and what puts them in that position. And they are poisoning the entire enterprise. And if you throw them overboard or better, if they agree voluntarily to leave, then the storm will abate and everything will be okay. So anyways, they throw Jonah overboard and a whale comes up and swallows him and takes him down to the bottom of the ocean. Well, we already know what that means because we watched Pinocchio. It's like when God abandons you because you've abandoned your destiny and the storms come up, the probability that you're going to be taken down to the, to the depths is extraordinarily high. And that happens in people's lives all the time. Also well, down there, Jonah repents. Well, what do you do when you're in the underworld? You've been there before when things fall apart on you. Your friends have abandoned you. You're not as popular as you could be. You can't stand to look at yourself in the mirror. Into the underworld you go and you think, geez, I've done a lot of things wrong. Maybe I should reconcile myself with the world and I could get out of this. Well, so that's what Jonah does. He thinks, all right, I've got this destiny. I better go do what God says. So the Whale spits him out onto the beach and off he goes to the city to tell them what's wrong. Well, that's what that represents. You see Jonah re-emerging from the whale and he's got a halo around his head. You say, well, what's a halo? Well, have you ever looked at a quarter? Well, think about a quarter. A quarter's the moon. And who's on the quarter? The queen. The queen is surrounded by the halo of the moon. The queen's queen of the, queen of the night. Gold coin, that's the king's head on the sun. That's the halo. Well, what comes out of the belly of the, of the fish? It's the illuminated human being. It's the spirit of the illuminated human being. Well, that's what that means. Well, how, what does that mean? Well, what else would come out of chaos? You know, if you, if you fall apart and then you put yourself back together, what is it that comes back out? Well, at least you're in better shape than you were before, you know? And, and then maybe you do that 20 times in your life or 50 times and you do it voluntarily. Every time you do it, you're more like the thing with the halo and less like the thing that's, you know, being thrown overboard by your friends. Mm -hmm.